including mini-sodes and prequels, including one in which a child actress plays young Clara, the character of Clara Oswald, or her splinters, appeared in 40 individual installments of the Doctor Who franchise, more than any modern era companion to date. Her closest competitor, Amy Pond, appeared in 39. If one looks upon the Pond Life prequel arc as a single installment and not five, Clara has been said by Jenna Coleman herself to have seen every incarnation of the Doctor throughout her various lives. Actual meetings have been depicted on screen with the First Doctor, War Doctor, Tenth Doctor, Eleventh Doctor, and Twelfth Doctor. She is also shown to have caught the Third Doctor's attention, and to have been in close proximity to the Second Doctor, Fourth Doctor, Sixth Doctor, Eighth Doctor and Tenth Doctor, and to have seen the Seventh Doctor from a distance not to mention manifestations of all past incarnations while in the Doctor's time stream. In the 2012 video game The Eternity Clock, River Song sought out every incarnation of the Doctor she hadn't met on screen which existed at that time, and wrote entries about their meetings in her diary. Later, following the introduction of both the War Doctor and the Twelfth Doctor in 2013, in the 2015 television story The Husbands of River Song, River meets the Twelfth Doctor and is shown to have photos of the Doctor's first twelve faces, including the War Doctor. As such, as of September 2017, and taking into account that all of Clara's splinters were in fact manifestations of the same person, Clara and River are the only known characters in the history of the franchise, barring the unique case of the TARDIS, who are confirmed to have encountered the Doctor's first 13 incarnations. Clara also indicated that she had spoken to the curator, a future incarnation of the Doctor. To date, there is no indication of River having met this individual. The only incarnation Clara is not seen encountering, in person, on screen is the Ninth Doctor. Rather, she sees his, ghost, run past her in the Doctor's time stream. She does end up in his presence, however, in the comic stories Endgame and Four Doctors, but does not interact with him. According to Stephen Moffat in Doctor Who magazine, the reason for the TARDIS, hate towards Clara was due to her seeing all of time and therefore seeing how dangerous she was for the Doctor, turning him into the hybrid. In The Rings of Akaton, Clara speaks of being a child who got separated from her mother on a bank holiday in Blackpool, the town in which Jenna Coleman was actually born. It is not until Robot of Sherwood that it is confirmed on screen that Clara is herself from Blackpool. Clara, along with River Song, was one of only two television companions shown to know the Doctor's real name at some stage. However, Clara's memory of this was erased soon after due to the 11th Doctor rewriting the timeline in TV journey to the center of the TARDIS, though Clara regains some memories from this episode later, the knowledge of the Doctor's name does not return. In the novels, companion Sam Jones also learns the Doctor's true name. Also like River Song, Clara is one of the few companions whose identity has been a major mystery over at least one series. Clara was unusual in that during her entire tenure traveling with the Doctor, between the rings of Akaton and Face the Raven, she is not known to have lived full-time on board the TARDIS. In her early days of traveling with the Doctor, she would be brought back to 30 Oak Street in Chiswick between adventures, just as Amy Pond and Rory Williams returned to their own home between their later adventures with the Doctor, so that she could continue her work as a nanny. The mini-sode Clara and the TARDIS indicated that she did have quarters aboard the ship, however, it is indicated that her sleeping aboard was not at that point a usual occurrence. After her establishment as a teacher at Coal Hill School, the Doctor continued to bring her home between adventures, sometimes to the school directly, sometimes to her flat, so that she could continue teaching and living a normal life outside her adventures, though a notable exception to this can be seen in TV, The Magician's Apprentice when she is called away from teaching a class to help deal with a crisis. In that instance, however, it is actually Unit that contacts her, not the Doctor. TV the Zygon invasion indicated that Clara was not always at the doctor's beck and call, as he was shown having difficulty contacting her, even before she was replaced by the Zygon. During her time trapped within a Zygon pod, Clara's consciousness inhabited a recreation of her flat. Following Jack Harkness, Rory Williams and Amy Pond, Clara is yet another companion who has had multiple deaths. Clara was the first companion to debut in an American comic before her first appearance in Doctor Who magazine. Though her first global comic book appearance was in DWA 314, she appeared in IDW Publishing Skyjacks, published in May 2013. Her debut in DWM did not occur until July's A-Wing and a Prayer. The 2013 book The Doctor, 
His Lives and Times includes images of Clara appearing in the background of at least one photo for every chapter related to each doctor, sometimes directly interacting with him. In at least one photograph, she is shown to be blonde, while in another she appears identical, even in dress, to the 21st century Clara. Clara is the first long-term companion to die on screen since the 2005 revival, not counting events when companions were revived in some way later. Although Clara is technically revived in Hellbent, it is established that her death still occurs as depicted in Face the Raven. Amy and Rory died off-screen at some point after being permanently separated from the Doctor. She is the first known ongoing on-screen companion to die right in front of the Doctor. At the time of her death, River Song was not considered a companion from the Doctor's perspective. She is the fifth companion whose departure involves a memory wipe. While Clara departed after the Doctor erased most of his memories of her, although he states that he still remembers their adventures and the fact he traveled with someone named Clara. In a later chronicle, however, he appeared to have forgotten her name. The departure of Charlotte Pollard from the Sixth Doctor also involved a memory wipe, so as to protect the web of time as the Doctor had learned that Charlie would travel with his eighth incarnation in her past, but in this case the Doctor did not forget the adventures he had with Charlie but merely had his memory of her name and appearance altered by the Virens to replace her with Mila in the memories. Second Doctor companions Jamie McCrimmon and Zoe Harriet also had their memories wiped upon their departure from the Doctor, remembering nothing more than their first encounter with him. Clara is the second former companion of the Doctor to be granted functional immortality, after Jack Harkness, and the third individual after Ashilder. Clara's sexual orientation was suggested to be bisexual, though this is not explicitly stated. And the Doctor interpreted remarks she made about Ashilder as indicating attraction. Additionally, suggestive comments and body language indicate that she might have slept with herself. Her Oswin Oswald Echo also claimed the first person she ever fancied was a girl named Nina, though she dismissed that as going through a phase. Although this is not directly indicated on screen, and as such cannot be listed in the In Universe section of this article, Stephen Moffat confirmed in Doctor Who magazine 495 that the portrait of Clara seen in TV, Heaven Sent, and referenced above in Legacy was painted by one of the many versions of the Twelfth Doctor that passed through the confession dial. Although every modern era female companion has had her own leitmotif, or recurring theme music, Clara's theme stands as the only one to date to actually become diegetic and part of the narrative. Clara has inspired quite a few characters in the Doctor Who, Legacy mobile game. They are mostly based on the main version of Clara, except for, Oswin Oswald, an ally character based on the echo of Clara that was turned into a Dalek from the television story Asylum of the Daleks. Voice actor Nicholas Briggs has performed the character of Clara twice, both in the context of her involvement with Daleks. In TV, Asylum of the Daleks, he performed the Dalek voice of Oswin Oswald after she discovered her true nature, and in TV, The Witch is Familiar, he provided the voice for the Dalek Clara briefly takes over control of. The recurring 10,000 Dawns character of Ashlyn Oswin, who made a cameo in the crossover story Birthdays Are Made for Memories, was implied in one 2020 10,000 Dawns short story to have been a dimensionally displaced echo of Clarice, explaining her resemblance to Jenna Coleman in the official illustrations. The story also suggested the testimony Clara in Twice Upon a Time was actually Ashlyn. As this April Fool's Day release was unlicensed, it is not considered a valid source by this wiki. Clara's birthday, the 23rd of November, is the anniversary of Doctor Who. Her zodiac sign would therefore be Sagittarius.